Okay, so this is interesting. I've got to adjust my bloody cam on the fly. Let's see if we can do it. Uh... Okay, that's a bit better because the color was a bit washed out. There we go. That's better. Okay. So, I've been playing this game for a little bit. Don't know whether I have to turn the music down any lower. But, yeah, we can, we can muck around with that later. As you can see, we've got closed captioning working now. And we've got a shout-out system and some alerts and stuff. So, we'll see how we go... Because Pixel Chat now has integration with uh, with YouTube, which is pretty cool. All right, so we're fishing at Mosquito Lake. Oh, I've been standing out in the cold. Uh, let's go up to the cabin. We're going to have to stand here for a touch and uh, warm up. But we can use this to help out. So we've got, I don't know, we don't want tools, we want food. I've got at the stage now I can make coffee and tea when I buy it from the store because I've had to get some some extra things for that. So if you have a coffee, that'll help, help you warm up. It's our food bar like, which is the second one from the top on the left hand side there. Or well, you can't see because of the Kofo thing. Might have to readjust that around a little bit. But the second bar from the top, you've got uh, four bars there. The top one is your energy. The second one's food. The third one's your heart and health and stuff like that. And the very bottom one, which we, which you can just see is red, is um, how, how warm you are, how cold you are. When it's raining, it can wreck with that really bad. But drinking coffee and tea will help warm you up, or getting near a campfire at one of the the campsites, or find where the hut is. Um, I've only found the one on Mosquito Lake so far. I don't know whether there's ones on the other maps yet. But as you can see underneath that little Kofi thing, it slowly the bar's slowly going up, so we're getting warmer. Excuse me, drinking my cuppa. So we'll get there, we'll get back out. And we'll get some pushing done. So when you start out, you start with this one. So that one and the spinning rod. Um, I'll show you the float adjustment on this one. And the spinning rod I saw, haven't had a super success with. Um, this one I got as I leveled up, which is an old bamboo rod and the old spinning rod as I leveled up. Um, then I got given this one, and this is the one I just recently bought. Oh, sound went a bit weird then. But I do have to, everything turned up to look beautiful on this game, so. We're warmed up. It's still raining out, so let's, let's go and see. We might be able to stay warm and get some fishing done. 
Oh, it's pelting down. I wonder how long this is going to last for. Let's see, I think we can check the weather. It's going to be raining all day and it's nine o'clock now. But it might stop soon. We can hang out here for a little bit and uh, see what happens. There's a couple of good spots I've found and they're down in this end of this, this lake. <laughs> Excuse me, this is a little Christmas event they got going over here. It's pretty cool, they got some stuff over there. It's a little bit cheaper. But, you know, Christmassy lollies and stuff like that. Now, also, I'm new to this European fishing. Because my, my experience with fishing here is saltwater fishing on, in Australia on the East Coast. And you just basically put a sinker on, a leader you know, a hook with a swivel or whatever so it doesn't get tangled, cast it in with your bait and your fish. This this has got spinning rods and it's got bait feeders. It took me a while to learn about the bottom feeder ones. You put a little canister on the, the line and then it's got a leader and a hook with some, a hook for your bait and the actual little canister's got weights in it as well and you cast that out and it like bottom feeds the fish to attract it to the hook. It's, I've had a lot of success with that, but it's a real different mindset to fishing here on the coast in Australia when it's such a simple setup. You know, for basic fishing, a fishing, fishing rod, a line, a sinker, a leader, a spin, a spinner, swivel, and a hawk, and you know, you fish with just about anything off the coast in salt water. I'm wondering if the, the devs have ever thought for this game whether they're going to bring out one for, uh, for salt water. It'd be pretty cool. Why don't we... Okay, while we're waiting for this to stop raining, it's free to go to this one here. This is mainly, as you can see, it's got a star rating on them of what's the best. So spinners here, I haven't had a whole lot of success here. I've caught a few, but not a ton. So like this one, sort of the next level up from Mosquito Lake. So we'll go there while it's raining and see what happens. Now we'll come back a little bit later to the other one because it's you just you freeze, so you're constantly going into the hut and warming yourself up, and it just gets a bit boring after a while doing that. Well, I suppose fishing can be boring overall if you. If you're not a fisherman, you don't like fishing. And when I was a kid, I did not like fishing that much. But as I got older, I, I come to understand a lot more about it. And it's for me, it's not just about catching the fish. It's about casting the line in and having a fish and being able to sit, sit down and, you know, just relax and, and, and get in your thoughts. All right, you do have a flashlight, which is F on the keyboard, which is a pretty good one. It's not too bad. Oh, by the way, I've turned the fog off on this because it make, wrecks havoc with the uh, with the flashlight. So this is a favourite spot I've got. I float fish here as well, not that it's super duper. Um, you chuck a chuck one in short here. I'll show you. I'll show you. So we'll get a we'll get a float in. We'll set it at about 44. So the on the numpad, the plus and minuses, we'll set the depth. 
it's all set at about 44 because I found as a little bit further down from here where those reeds start to come out, there's a bit of a dip and it catches on the bottom. So 44, 43. Bait is B, so you hold the B button down. We're currently using a worm, which isn't too bad. It's a pretty universal bait. So we just pop this in here. Oh, happy hour on. So we've got a float fish now. And we just let it drift. Sometimes stuff will come out of the reeds and nail it. But other, other times it'll wait until it gets to its full extent. And it'll get hit in the middle of the river further down. This one doesn't have a reel on it. It's just a stick with a float and a line. And you just you pull it in. See, look, we're getting, that's near where the bottom is, just there, that rough bit. But that's a fish tag in that. Ah, we missed him. Bugger. There's a finesse because all the different fish bite differently, and I'm still getting the hang of that as well. Some do little dip, 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 and then pull it under. Some pull it under and then let it come back up. And then they'll pull it under and then uh, then they'll hold it under. Sometimes they let it up. Sometimes they just, yeah, it's it's kind of a, a finesse for yourself to actually have a, have a feel of what's going on. It doesn't support the controller really well. Um, mouse and keyboard's the best. And the sounds are pretty cool. All right, birds in the background. Like, look at it. It's half past, half past 11 at night and you can hear the birds. That's a bit weird. That little box at the bottom where the float is, you can actually move it as well. I saw a section in there where you can position it left or right. Or center. I like it in the center. And see, this is the chill part. Don't forget to keep an eye on your food bar. That your food bar and your and the bottom one on the left. Here we go, we've got a fish tagging it now. There we go, fish on. See, sometimes you've just got to get it right because they all bite differently. Can't see so for happy hour now because we're floating, with, we've got to do the float fishing out to the end of this because that's what we're getting the extra points on. So 152 plus the 70, so that's, that's pretty good, total 228. That all goes for your total ranking in the bottom left. It levels you up. So let's do a drift on that again. Had a fish one day, came out of those reeds on the right and just nailed the bait and took it into the middle of the river. And there's not only this spot. You can walk right around the river. It's There's a whole river that goes off that direction and behind. And you can walk right around the banks and find whatever spot you want along the way that you think you're going to catch fish. Of course, snags and reeds. You know, snags and reeds and stuff like that are the really good spots. See how that one pulled it down and then he let it go? Sometimes they'll just get on the hook themselves. It's just like, yeah, there's a hook. I'm, I want to be on that. So yeah, like I, you know, most most fishermen know that if you if you're fishing the cover, that's where you know the fish hide. Oh, there we go. He's on. He took that big big time. 
a little ruffle. I wouldn't have a clue what the damn fish was. It's a fresh water one. We don't have them here in Australia, so as far as I know. Um, so like if you're fishing the reeds or, or structures, little little docks like this off the side, you know, you can be on the opposite side and cast into it, towards it, and try and drag the fish out from underneath, that sort of thing. I lost four and a half hours to this game the other day, just catching fish and chilling. Okay, it's at maximum length. Let's see what it what it does over the little hole in the, the river there. We'll go and transfer back to Mosquito Lake and I'll show you the bottom feeder ones when we get back over there. And hopefully that rain stopped over there because it just it's terrible. Good part of the game. It's pretty cool. It's cool dynamic, but yeah, just you bloody freeze and you Hopefully all the volumes are okay, you're hearing things right, and the closed captioning is going to be a bit wonky. It doesn't like my Aussie accent. And, you know, the usual spiel, you know, like, subscribe, the whole, the whole, the whole nine yards, you guys know what to do there. Make sure you dingle dingle that little bell, or all that stuff. Now, this is really a good thing too. The wind in this game, it's dynamic. It'll, if the wind's blowing in a direction, your float will actually, like in real life, it will tilt towards the way that the wind is actually blowing, which is really cool. And if you've got slack line leading out to maybe a bottom feeder that you haven't taken the tension on, the line will move with the wind, which is pretty cool. I don't think anything's going to give us a bite there. All right, well, we'll pull up. So, I get you into your backpack for, for your fishing rods, and you is the one to put your rod away. I haven't set them up in hot bars because I found I was struggling with the hot bars earlier on when I was trying to run two, three fishing rods at a time. Um, switching between them, so I can be a bit slow sometimes. Old, old man, bloody fingers. Um, and sort of got a bit mixed up with it. So I just leave them here and get them out when I need them. That there puts it away on the cross. We go escape and we'll go back to Mosquito Lake. These two are free. Winding River Yulet and, and Mosquito Lake. When you get to 12, you unlock Berg's Lake. And then I, then I unlocked where was it? Baya River, Balea River. I tried there for a little while. That's difficult. That's a difficult fish, that. I don't think I've got the right gear or the right bait for that. I haven't done enough research on it to. So the two I use is this one, um, Mosquito Lake, the other lake and that, that river. All right, so, okay, this is a little bit better. All right, so you can hire a boat here. This is pretty cool. Cost a couple of bucks. And you can take a boat out onto the lake and fish directly from the boat. Here is the fish shop. You can just sell your fish directly to them. Okay, I've got a couple of fish there I can show you. But there's also one, there's one on each map. 
So this is part of an order that you can do it. I'll show you show you that in a sec. So you select this, and we'll we'll, we'll flog them. All right, they're gone. But up here, we'll hit the right button. Up here is the cafe, and the cafe takes orders. So if you get five common roach from 174 grams up, and five, they'll pay you $10.71. Which isn't bad. If you can fulfill those, um, those orders, you'll be right. You make some dollars. I usually just sell them off at the store. You buy drinks at the vending machine. There's a, a food store here. So you can buy your food stuff, at basically at the lower level. You go for a fish, fish and chips at Fakatani. Yeah, why not? Hardware store, that, that sells all your coffee making machinery and knives and molds for, for stuff. Here's the lures, baits, lines, everything you can think of. It's a, you, if you had enough money, if I went in this shop, I would spend a ton. Fishing rods, reels, everything. Don't forget the cafe. The cafe gives you a free feed once a day. All of these, they're on this side, easy to find. All right, let's do a bottom feeder. This dock here, okay. A lot of people, you know, in a game, it'll be at the start and you'll think, oh, why would I want to do something right at the very start? Because everybody does that. It's not going to be a good spot. This is a pretty good spot. So this is where an event is running at the moment, which I've got all of them, except, well, nearly all of them. So I got five of them, three or three, two or two. The one that I didn't get was this one here, this gift bag. Out of this one, these ones here, I pulled out a three-day premium pass, which they were given away. And I got one premium bag and missed the other one. So that's not too bad. I got, got all bar one. But now we're just going to... We'll get out the feeder rod. Okay, as you can see in the top left, you got, like I was explaining, there's a little canister and there's a ball and the worm so the canister as you can see on now hold it up into the light there it's got those little ball baits in them and then you've got like a leader and then you've got i think this is crazy ass fishing like i've never done any of this before but i tell you what it's pretty damn good hold the mouse button down keep it holding it down that's maximum that circle goes all the way around Cast it out, make sure you lock the reel off by tapping the mouse button, and then hit zero on the numpad, and it can put the reel down in the holder, and then Y to take up the slack in the line. You're done. You sit, you sit there until the bell goes ding a ling a ling. No, you sell them. This one's pretty chill, mate. It's it's not like a lot of the ones I've played where it's really extremely complicated to do any fishing. There's a few finesses with it, but it's it's pretty good. There we go. We've got a fish tag in that already. It might be one of those ruffles because if you can see the line, it's hard to see sometimes. The line will start moving because he's already tagged it and grabbed it. Give it a tickle with the... I think he's already taken it. Okay, so it's right mouse button to set the hook and then left to really... No, he hasn't taken it. Hey, if you're a fisherman, you're a fisherman. If you're not, you're not. 
It's you. If you want, one of you guys want to try the shout out, that'd be cool. See if it works. That'd be that'd be interesting to see whether it does a Twitch shout out or a YouTube shout out. And is the closed captioning big enough? Do I need to enlarge the font on that or make it a little bit bigger as well? All right, so here's the thing too. Lock the reel off, and if you're standing too close to the end of the, the pier, you can't place the rod down. So you got to move back a little bit, and then it'll let you put it down. So it doesn't actually put the link. Okay. I'll have to look into that. At least it's a shout out. That's a big thing. Thanks, Evil. Because it's pretty much the same. If I click on your name, it, it'll take me to the, the channel, won't it? So. Oh, big one on. Set the hook. So the center wheel on your mouse button, I can't, while you're reeling in, it's a bit difficult. So I use my right, my left hand, and you can adjust your friction brake up and down by rolling it backwards and forwards. With this, you can't use the net, so lift the rod up as it gets closer to the wharf, and then it'll pick the per uh, perch. We'll keep that flogging off. Real, set it down, take up the slack until the bell just goes ding and you know it's at the right setting. There we go. Took a while for it to come up. Yeah. Well, at least, at least there's one there now, which is pretty good. What I might do is that, that Ko-Fi one um, for the link there, I might actually put that on a marquee so that it disappears and then comes back. Yeah, mate, AC Pixel, man, first first one to do it. You know, it was, was going to be a toss-up between Firebot and, and AC. And AC Pixel streams on Twitch and on, um, and on, he does some on YouTube as well, so... Yeah, look, look for that guy. Look for Pixel Chat if you guys want something that's pretty cool. It works out of the cloud, so there's no major strain on your PC when you've got it running. It's it's good stuff. I got put onto it when I was streaming on Mixer, and I haven't looked back. We did go to Firebot for a while, but yeah, that that they kind of dropped the ball a, a little bit on near the end there. There hasn't been a whole bunch of stuff coming out. Still a decent program for some of the stuff it does, so, you know. Oh, the game. Oh, mate, it's beautiful. No. So what I'll do, we'll go for a walk around. We'll set it. Oh, we got something on. It might be one of those ruffle things, they usually, or maybe a Chinese sleeper. Sometimes, oh no, nothing. Sometimes they take the bait and just sit on the bottom. Oh, I had a giggle. I had a giggle. I did the streaming gilded. That's another one, guys. Um, if you want to keep up with what everything that's going on, jump in that gilded link. There is one in the bio. Um, so, yeah. 
I was, I was saying it's, it's the only game I've found lately where you can look down and I got legs. <laughs> Usually you look down, you've got no legs. And it's a typical walking thing, W, but if you hit the shift button, you know, you can move faster, which I use a lot of. It'd be cool, the game devs, if they had a toggle for that so that it actually was always, always in quick, mar quick, uh, quick mode. So this willow tree here, go past this one to the next tree. Here, if you set your float to 44, this is a really, really banging spot. Yeah, this is a this is a little banging spot here. Um, forty four on your on your float float rod. You use a bunch of different baits and carp and carp and perch and all that get in here. I haven't caught any ruffles in this one, but carp and perch, big one. So if you keep following the path around here, you get to the campsite. And there's a bunch of things here as you level up you can you can do, all right? So you can make shish kebabs, baked apples and salmon. See, that locked at the moment because I haven't got, got them unlocked yet. You got the smokehouse so you can smoke fish. I, I haven't even tried the, the, the brim, but yeah, it's unlocked. You can light your campfire. The fish drying rack, I've already done the roach. This one here, I've had some roach and we've, I've dried those. So that'll help you level up for your, your cooking and stuff. Now your tent as well. If you can find your tent on each one of the maps, it's like, it's a storage locker basically. You can put stuff in here and store it in your tent rather than carry it around. So. This is another good spot here, right near where the camping spot is. Pretty much, you know, you stand on the edge here, anywhere from, you know, going back that way where we just were over the other side, we were fishing out into the deep water, or down into this shallow stuff here. Well, you can set it, you can set this to 75, 80 on the, on the float rod, or spin or whatever. Spin's not super duper here, but yeah, this is anywhere because you've got a broad range of like smashing out fish in here. The rest of the lake, I haven't found any sweet spots. Yeah, you know, I just some days just walk around and put a line in, you know, in the reeds or in this this algae stuff, and and kick off from there. Now the bottom feeding ones, okay, that rod that I was showing you before, this one here, for the bottom feeding, to make those little balls, I had to search and search and search and search to bloody do it. So you hit escape and you go into crafting. And if you've got a packet of, if you've got a, a packet of um, crackers, you can make them in, make them in your crafting. And don't forget, like, like I said, I've got the fog turned off because the fog puts a bit of a strain on the PC. And I, I don't think it's quite right. It just, yeah, it, it just, it's not quite right. So pretty much walk all the way around the lake to wherever you want to and chuck a, chuck a line in. Let's go, let's go and hire a boat. I'll show you the boat. We'll get one for a day. It's only like three bucks. Um, I haven't done any research into the trolling. You can troll off those little pop pop boat things, which I'd like to try. But that'll come. Okay, let's go here. Give me the give me the E. Give me the E on there. There we go. We're gonna get a ticket for one day. 350.
go down to the, the little boat. <coughs> hey, Simmons, how are you going? So it'll come up. Yep, click the ticket. Same as when you're walking, fishing for tar, trying to get a trophy. Yeah, I've been playing for a little while. Look, I'm, I'm from Australia, and the fishing on here is so different to the coastal fishing here in Australia. So, like, this is a big learning experience for me. Yes, just please remember, guys, there is a delay with YouTube. It's not like the other streaming platforms. So if I take a little bit to answer your questions, just, just stand by. I will get to it. So you can make this thing go faster too. Same thing, hit the shift button. Yeehaw, let's go. Lithuania? Oh, nice. So you'd be used to this sort of fishing. That'd, that'd be in your wheelhouse. See, in Australia, most of us live on the coast, so it's saltwater fishing. It's totally different to this. So up here, off to the left a little bit, like 30-odd degrees, 20 degrees off the front of the boat, to the left, there's a big hole. So we'll set up about there. Okay, turn the motor off. Drop the anchor. Stand up. Now, if we go into our inventory and we check the map, oh no, we can do we can do M for map. Okay, so we're pretty much over the top of the hole. So if we fish out back this way up up towards the lake there, we should should get in that hole there. So if we, we drop a drop a line in there. Now you can't put the rods down on the boat. Norwegian sea added. I'd like them to see a uh, like them to do a salt water one. Salt water one would be pretty cool. Yeah, I won't do it in the boat. The rod of this type cannot be put in this holder. Won't let me put it in the holder. Because this is a this is a bottom feeder one, I think. That's probably why. I wonder, let's test out the different rods I got. I might remap the um, the brake to some different buttons rather than the mouse wheel. All right, so let's, let's put that one away. Let's go. Let's go a float one and see if that one will. Let's adjust this down a little bit deeper. Nope, won't let me put it on here either. So it must only, maybe the spinner rods? The spinner? Oh, yeah, spinner. Yeah, I got a spinner rod there. Are you level 26? Yeah, look, see, I'm still only a baby. I'm level 13. <laughs> I'm loving it, but I like I like I was saying earlier. I was like, I can lose four hours on this game easy, and just not realize that that the four hours has been gone. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this is one thing that I've got to get used to too, the little boats here as well. What What's best for out in the middle of the lake? I've gone out a couple of times and haven't been really successful. Um, most of the best fishing I've got was off, off the land base. What time is it here? Um, 12.27, just after, just after midday. So what you can do is, where are we? Um, two trophies. Look at the side, that's a trophy fish, a 114 gram blick. Biggest broom I got is 1.6. Three kilo common carp. That was that was a fight, that one. That bugger nearly took all the line off my reel on the light rod. So still got a ton to go. Tench, that was a good one too. Three twenty-seven early in the AM. Okay, so let's put this rod away and we'll go. So the, the boat, there's boats on this one on on Mosquito Lake. Um, I haven't got any further than that, so I don't know what other ones would have boats on them. I will need to take that uh, razor anchor. Why don't you? Oh, let me help if you hit the right button. Oh, it looks amazing. Like, look at the water and that. Like, wake off the boat. It's pretty cool. I logged in one day and I wanted to get the boat and there was one out here. It must have been, I don't know what happened with the server or whatever, but the boat was sitting all the way out here in the middle of the water. And it's just like, okay. I turned off the engine. Thank you. I want to get off. Give me the. Give me that. Get off. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's fish off this one. Take up the slack. So JJ's oh Grim, how how 
how are you going? Did you get a chance to chat with JJ about the podcast one tonight that you guys are doing or? Take the bait, fishy, fishy. I think he's running with that line. You get him? He might be a little fella. No, we missed him. Come on, I'm back far enough. What are you doing to me? I wasn't back far enough. Okay. That's been taken already. That got nailed. Nice size perch. Give him a kiss like uh, Rex Hunt, yibbity yibbida. Oh, what'd you pick it up for? Oh, I pulled it too hard. Oh, well. But that could be taken in so many different ways, couldn't it? I pulled it too hard. It was just like polishing in the D&D &D session, eh? We should have something to eat. So while that's in there, we'll go to we'll go to food and we'll norm on a baked tater. Oh, dingle, 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 jingle all the way. Definitely. Steam. Get nailed straight away again. Just watch that line there, just so I can just see it. It's not moving around, so. Oh, 
Wonder, wonder if we can, wonder if we can have a coffee. It's a bit cold, even though it's twenty degrees. Come on, take it, take it, grab it, grab that little wiggly worm. I could, I could fish with the float rod as well, you know. I usually put the float rod out near the reels and the, the reeds on the right there and let it bop around. We got him. At the moment, I'm keeping every fish, even if it's 0.3, like smaller levels. Like I'm getting the level, but I also want as much money because I went crazy and spent all my dough on a bunch of stuff in the store. So I've got to recoup some of it. So I can get better rods later and... Don't forget to make sure you lock off that reel by tapping the mouse button. It's, oh, Evil, it's been bloody cold and raining here all day today. Uh, when we finished the D&D session last night, I went out the front to put the bins out and it, it was absolutely... It, just starting to absolutely pour down. It had been raining before that, but so. Oh, okay. I think we're going to fish on. Yeah, we do. So I don't know whether you can notice it on stream there, but the line went slack. Look at the size of it. Look at the bloody size of it. Uh, you're going to get sold. You got clouds. Oh, clouds and humidity. That sucks. Don't mind the clouds, but the humidity can go jump. <clears throat> So we're waiting on oh, the wind. Yeah, we're waiting. I've got I've got a couple of alerts set up there. Hopefully they they'll kick in um, for for a sub and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, there, I actually went back to Streamlabs for those, but I think I think AC's got a bunch of them set up, so I might leave Streamlab again and go with uh, go with AC for that. We'll have a look at it later. Come on, just take it. Just take it. You want it, take it. It's only a little one.
Well, it's good to see <coughs> that the Pixel Chat integration's working. So that was that was the biggest thing to see that the closed captioning was going to go. I, I had a look at the the YouTube closed captioning, but you've got to actually sit down. You've got to transcribe the vod, then you've got to type it in. There's a whole a whole lot of stuff you've got to jump through to actually get it going. Having it there in live time is so much better. So we'll probably only go for about an hour on this session. It's kind of the new, the new sort of norm that I'm sort of targeting. Unless we get a bunch of people that come in and want to ask questions, etc., etc., about things that I can maybe try and answer. Um, we're gonna we're gonna keep it nice and nice and low and lean and mean. Um, uh, depending, you know, we might get a fortnight night where we're all smashing and having a great time and, you know, we might get a couple of hours out of a stream like that, but this one, you know, maybe, maybe an hour grab here and there when I'm, when I'm, you know, jump on, could be two o'clock in the morning if I'm up, I'm bounce on and uh, jump on for an hour and get some fishing done. I'm not sure whether I want to stream Ark. I'm back into Ark Survival Evolved again. I really want two to come out. Um, they're, they're playing their cards close to their chest on that with the release date, which I can understand, considering, you know, eight years, seven, eight years of all the other mischief and stuff that went on with the other one. Um, but I don't know whether I want to stream Ark or not. I'm in two minds at the moment for that. Um... I know there's an audience out there for it, but I think I think they want to see the PvP side of things, you know, raiding other people's bases and stuff like that. And we're just playing PvE, so taming some dinos and flying around and killing stuff and whatever. That that line looks like it's. Not too bad. What do we got? We've got seven seven fish in the holder there, so that's a that's a dollar or two. So make sure guys, like if there's anything you wanna want me to try and show off on here, like what to do with the orders or, you know, and, and, and keep in mind too that I'm still learning the game myself. Freshwater fishing is a, a totally new thing for me anyway because most of Australia is salt water. Well, you know, the salt water fishing because we all live on the coast. I mean, we, we do have trout, we do have freshwater fishing, but I think most of that's like, you know, trout and Murray River cod and stuff like that. I think there's a fish on there too again. Nope, there wasn't. The line was just going slack. He might have been playing with it.
um, yeah, being that I'm I'm still, you know, a new, pardon the pun, fish in the water here on YouTube, as I don't have a lot of a lot of followers as such at the moment, um, or subs, so that I do have time to answer some of the comments and whatever that get put in there. So, and if there's any ideas you want to see on here, and I can try to, just be aware that I'm still at a low level and trying to learn the game. If we can help out, we can help out. From what little knowledge I do have at the moment. Oh, still not far enough back. Got no, got no frames dropped, but it's putting a little bit of pressure on the on the CPU today, which is interesting. I suppose because I've got the graphics set to, it's actually set to beautiful, not not epic. No, see, I was too soon. I should have just let him play with it. Sometimes I get impatient and grab the bloody reel and this is I should, the rod I shouldn't be doing it I should because a lot of times they'll just put themselves on the bloody hook Chilling in the outdoors. What a what a good day. Well, maybe not today here in Sydney, Australia. It's bloody raining at the moment outside. So really weird summer this summer. So we had a couple of really really hot days. Like usually now you got the AC on and you and you actually the sweat's pouring off you like 30, 38 degrees Celsius. But um, this year very very mild summer. Yeah, we've caught some fishies, mate. Good to see you back. Um, I did ask, I wasn't sure if you were there before. Did you get the stuff sorted with uh, JJ for his podcast one tonight, mate? Or You can give Evil a shout out too, because I know he won't do it for, him, for himself. So if you want to do the shout out, mate, you can. It doesn't, I um, don't think it puts a link in, but uh, we can, I don't know, work on that to see what happens. <clears throat> of course, AC will work on Pixel Chat and it'll, it'll get better as it goes along. Just swing it? Okay, cool. It takes some time for it to come up, Evil was saying before. You, sh you shouted you out. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Come on, bring it up. Mm, that is a while, isn't it?
Yeah, JJ's funny when he gets he gets a bit he gets a bit frazzled with himself, eh? Okay, so that didn't come up then. Did that shout out come up? Because I'm not seeing it. Another ruffly ruffle thing. One of them fish. All right, last last cast, and I might might sign out for the for the day. Like I said, little little short spurts will do it in. Um, just make sure you put put stuff in the comments. Like if you guys want to want me to have a look around, and I've got one of the maps open, and we want to go over there, I can we can go and check it out or. Um, yeah. Evil is bought. It didn't come up. I wonder why. Might, might be Grimm's bought. All right, we're going to sell these fishies. Put that away. There's nothing there to really see these ones with the flags on them they're the ones that you can sell up the top if you've got a group of them but yeah there's these ones are too small so we'll get three dollars 66 for that to add to the we got 64 built back up again all right well like i say don't forget do the like do the subscribe make the comments do all the, all the stuff and things that you you know you guys know what to do and uh, keep your lines tight for Russian Fishing 4, and we will uh, catch you guys on the next one. Look forward to, you know, we do Fortnite, we do maybe some art coming, um, and new games, it just a bunch of different things. I've made some relaxation VODs on there for something different to diversify the channel a little bit for something, you know, for a change. Give them a look, you know, um, have a search around, and we'll be definitely jumping on doing some more Russian Fishing. Like I say, put comments, ask a question. If I know it, I'll answer it. If if I don't, well, I'll, I'll let you know that I don't know a bloody thing about it because, um, like, freshwater fishing is all new to me. So, like I said, keep your lines tight and catch you guys on the next one.